أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل اللقدة من لساني يفقه قولي اللهم أرنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وأرنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه رب إني لما أنزلت إلي من خير فقير رب إني لما أنزلت إلي من خير فقير رب إني لما أنزلت إلي من خير فقير ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا وذرياتنا قرة أعين وجعلنا للمتقين إماما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وأهل بيتهم أجمعين With the mercy of Allah Almighty we have been doing uh, a regular podcast on the topic of nikah and marriages in Islam uh, for so- for past several months uh, but that podcast was in Urdu language uh, that is still going on alhamdulillah and uh, Uh, beyond our expectations, uh, that podcast received a lot of acceptance uh, from the Muslims uh, wherever the Urdu-speaking audience is. Uh, roughly, we have seen numbers going above 10 million views uh, a month and beyond, alhamdulillah on different social media platforms. That podcast goes by the name Young and Married. Uh, we, uh, based on uh, the learnings from that podcast, uh, we have realized that nikah and marriages and these relationship issues is a huge problem and is a... Uh, huge matter of concern uh, and and it is something that most of the Muslims need guidance in uh, since not all the Muslims around the world speak Urdu or understand Urdu uh, or Hindi uh, we have decided to start the same discussion in English language as well With the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, inshallah, we are going to take this podcast forward uh, in English language as well. So this is going to be the first episode of uh, Young and Married in English. And uh, let's see, uh, since this is the very first episode, let's see uh, what do we call this uh, podcast, what's going to be the name. Uh, We might try uh, giving it a slightly different name uh, so that... Uh, the or it is segregated it is uh, like uh, it is differentiable from urdu one or probably it can go uh, with the same name as well let's call it young and married for now so um uh, basically the thing is that relationships have become very complex although they are very simple they 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 must be very simple but they have become very complex and getting into a relationship and being consistent within that relationship and uh, and and taking it forward in a healthy manner is become quite difficult and it has become something that people need to be trained on. 
humans have developed some sort of uh, strange habits uh, they have developed things that are very strange and which are opposite to nature allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the creator the god the provider he says in his final book that that the living that the food the risk all of these matters are upon allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah says in quran wala taqtulu auladakum khashyata imlaq nahnu narzuquhum wa iyyakum that you don't need to worry about monetary matters when it comes to your children when it comes to your off- offsprings you don't need to push them you don't need to kill them you don't need to abortion or any such thing which involves oppression or killing of your children don't do that don't do such a thing uh, worrying uh, worrying about their uh, living about their uh, risk about their food and monetary matters because then allah explains nahnu narzukuhum wa iyyakum it is us allah says who provides them who feeds them as well as you the parents so this is something that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taken in his own hands in several other places in quran allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has explained that providence is upon allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the living the the means of living the in, in terms of economy and food is upon allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah says in quran that it is us who give risk who give the providence the money the finances to anyone whoever we like without counting yarzuqu man yasha bi ghairi hisab allah gives to whoever who likes uh, he likes without counting without without any limitations but what we do is we worry about food and money matters and economy and finance so much that the very first thing we teach to a child is economy is the money matters is the mathematics is how he is going to be a better earner how he is going to be a better a better money maker because of such a habit because of such uh, such a behavior of human beings the focus on the focus on character the focus on um on 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 being a good human being being a healthy human being being a, on focus on making a healthy society is very limited or or for most of the times it is non existence non existent all of the focus is on 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 education that we call education which is in reality uh, a means of making a child a money making machine a means of making the child the gear of this economic capit- capitalistic system so that's why either girls or boys both grow up with values which are which are destructive to themselves and the people and the family and the society around them which causes destructive relationships which causes broken marriages which causes problems in society all around so there this needs to be fixed and there needs to be a consistent 
training, consistent uh, guidance, consistent advice for the young people and the grown-ups as well, that how to get into a relationship, how to fix your relationships and how to maintain your relationships and how to be fair with the people and the society around you. Since this podcast is majorly going to be about um, uh, uh, the marriages, the nikah, the relationships, the relationship between a man and a woman, a boy and a girl, uh, so, so we are majorly going to talk about that. But in context to this, there is going to be all around uh, all other things as well. Inshallah, that that concern our society, our families, our relationships, and and uh, so on. So, uh, the very first thing in the uh, podcast, I would uh, in the first episode of podcast, I would like to say is, um, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has made man for sex the very first thing the very first thing that the man comes with a woman a man or a woman comes with in 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 this world is is his body that is his or her body that that has the very basic parts to eat food to speak and to excrete food to see and sense with 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 five senses and there are very prominent and clear reproductive parts and the very first thing you identify a child with is from their reproductive parts are they going to be male or he or she is a female, the, the reproductive parts decide that. And the very first thing uh, when, when uh, a child comes to life is the very first thing that anyone would ask and be concerned with would be about the reproductive part. So this is something um, a, a man or a woman is made for. But somehow, especially in Islamic tradition, especially in Islamic society, it has become something like it has become a taboo uh, to talk about sex, to, 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 to worry about sex or to want sex. So we are going to clarify all these misconceptions and we are going to motivate the young especially the young breed to to get very easy about the sex and sexual relationships all they have to worry about and be concerned about is it has to be the halal way it has to be according to the ways Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it allowed and made it halal for uh, for for the mankind so uh, prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam had multiple marriages and he had multiple spouses wives at uh, like uh, at a moment like he had multiple wives uh, at a single time and prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam did marriages with, of all sort he married women all older than him he married women uh, younger than him he married women with with a little difference in ages uh, with himself he married women with a lot of difference in age uh, with himself and uh, he had children with women and he did not have children with women and so on so we are going to learn from the life of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and we are going to discuss how it is very halal and it is very easy to be in a sexual relationship with uh, with with uh, with a human being of other gender so uh, it is something uh, for the young Muslims 
to be very happy about that if you are facing any problem regarding relationships, if you are having any problem to marry a um, uh, man or woman, depending on your gender, then be very, very clear that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made nikah very easy. There is no need to go for consensus sex. There is no need to go for haram relationships. There is no need to go for zina. Nikah, the halal sex, is very, very, very easy and simple in Islam. You do not need a lot of money. You do not need a lot of means. You do not need to involve all of your family to get yourself into halal sex, to get, into, uh, to get yourself into a halal relationship. It is very simple and easy. Just make sure that your intentions are good inshallah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would guide you to the right path and we are going keep we are going to keep on discussing about these these halal relationships and how to avoid haram relationships and how to get into uh, a, a halal relationship without uh, trouble and we are going to talk about arranged marriages versus um, uh, love marriages and just to clarify at this moment for this uh, for for the very first episode that there is no concept of forced marriage there is no concept of arranged marriage where any of the spouses is not interested for is not fully interested that marriage is and such a marriage is concerned den, uh, void and denied in islam so there is only one way that is the marriage of your liking, the nikah of your liking, the nikah of uh, nikah with a man or woman, depending on your gender, uh, the one you like. The sp you have to get a spouse that you love, that you like, and you are pleased with. Only then you get into uh, a halal nikah, halal relationship, and it is very easy and simple. There are no ifs and buts. It is a very simple way. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, guide us to the right path and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us uh, to the true Islam of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to stand for the truth and avoid all of the haram things and stand for the halal things even if the society does not want us or does not like us to do uh, the halal thing aqulu qouli haza wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa li sahli almuslimina wal muslimat wal mu'minina wal mu'minat assalatu wassalamu ala sayyidina muhammad